All right, today we're going to talk about uh, what's louder, a ported box or a bandpass box. And I've got right here a Sundown Audio U15 that we're using for this box. I am going to first draw a vented box, that's a ported box, at, uh, we're going to do three cubic feet, that's manufacturer recommended. Uh, personally, I like to add a little bit, about three and a half cubes for the U series, so uh, an extra half a cube would, is, or yeah, an extra half a cube is perfect. That's according, that's just from my experience and... Um, a lot of other people have kind of noticed that as well. I'm going to try to do a wide range of frequencies. So I've decided to go with 34 hertz on this one. Because that's going to really hit a wide range of frequencies. Okay, let's go down and let's see it. Okay, that is the slope that we're looking at right there. And what I'm going to do now is I'm going to switch to a... Uh, sixth order bandpass. This is a parallel bandpass, not to be confused with the popular series bandpass, which I think a lot of uh, people use right now. They they use the series sixth order bandpass because it is windy, and people like wind. And uh, the the parallel one, you're going to save a little bit of space on uh, versus the series. But for all intents and purposes, uh, I think I think they're kind of similar in the graph we can graph this with it's really hard to find graphing software that'll that'll actually accurately um do a series series sixth order so what i'm going to do now is i'm going to say let's do a oh geez let's think about this for a minute so we did a three cubic foot box for the ported box and let's say the port takes up at least another cubic foot uh, so four total cubic feet for the ported box. And so what I'd like to do is do about six and a half cubic feet for this box, assuming the box would take another cube and a half. That means that if you ran two ported between the, um, the space, the chamber for the subs, and the port, you'd have about eight cubic feet. And that would be about the same with um, one band pass. So that's that's what we're gonna do. So I'm gonna do a four, so I gotta get uh, maybe 4.5 here. And I, I'm gonna do 4.25 and maybe we'll try 2.25. We'll see what that graph looks like. Uh, I'm also gonna go down, I think, to uh, 27 Hertz. Once again, I'm trying to cover a wide range. I'm gonna go 27 on the low point and 54 on the high point that's an octave apart that's traditional um band pass uh tuning now on the parallel you you can kind of change those up quite a bit um you will you're not going to have as much uh issues in the box outside the box they might cancel e each other out as far as some of the frequencies if you tune them too close especially if you tune them too close now the series, that's a big issue because one chamber ports into the other chamber and then out. And so if they are too close, you will definitely cancel out and have issues. Not as big of a deal on the parallel. The parallel in general is just easier to design, a uh, little bit harder to, to, to screw up. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and draw that. I'm, I'm liking the way that looks. I'm gonna draw that. Okay, perfect. So this is this is essentially the, the difference right here between one ported and the band pass. And you'll notice the peak right here is very similar to the height of these two peaks. And that's kind of essentially um, about right. So the ported has the potential realistically to get louder than the band pass, especially if I tune a little higher, this, this port. In fact, let's go ahead and do that real quick. I'm going to tune a little higher. You notice this ported is it's a little offset to the low side, so we're going to tune one a little higher. We're going to try the three cubic feet, and we're going to do we'll do uh, we'll do thirty eight hertz. Okay, we'll draw that. You'll notice now it's significantly higher than the band pass. So the band pass is almost like if you want to think about it. In fact, let me remove this uh, this blue one. Even though I like it, I don't think it covers as 
frequency range as well as what people would like. Okay. So you'll notice the bandpass, essentially these, these two bumps, they, cause you have two, basically you have two ported boxes. So you have two ported boxes together. So it's like this bump right there, um, over here. And then one over here, that's essentially what you have. So what's louder? What well, kind of depends on the tuning. If you tune the ported right in between, it's going to be a touch louder than the bandpass. Not much, and and probably not really that that noticeable. You you did see the the one I had before. It was maybe a, a two 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 dB louder. So you might be about a dB louder with a single port. Uh, in general, the sixth order is. Um, much better in this scenario, although it, it, it's going to have a little bit more of a, a muddy kind of sound to it. See, essentially when, when the sound comes out of the port, it gets a little muddied, a little, um, even though you don't quite hear the chuff, it has a little bit of turmoil in the sound because it's coming out of a port. And, and then outside the, the port range, you kind of have a cleaner sound out of the sub, more like a little bit more similar to a sealed. In the, the bandpass, however, the sound is only coming out of one port or the other port or a mix of both right here in the center. And so you kind of have some of that muddy port noise throughout the entire range. So sound quality, the ported is going to be better. Um, bandwidth wise, the six is better now, but that's once again, that's we're taking basically four cubic feet of total between, um, box and port for a single ported sub. And we're comparing that versus eight cubic feet of a band pass single sub now what would happen if we were to essentially add a second ported sub and keep the power same so let's say we're putting a thousand watts to one bandpass sub or 500 watts to two ported subs and the, the old total overall space is the same eight cubic feet for each what's going to happen in that scenario is you're going to get 3 db on this red line and so you'll notice let me go down to 30 so that 3 dB makes them almost the same. In fact, the red is, uh, what's that? Uh, a little bit louder or not quite as loud, not quite as loud. Let's go 31. So right there, you're definitely, the red is louder at 31 and let's go, on, go up to 50 and see what it looks like at 50. And you're louder at, at 50 with the red line and looks like you go up Ooh. you're actually louder all the way low 50s so low 30s the low 50s if we had tuned this uh, this ported box to say 33 instead of 34 you'd, you'd probably have between 30 and 50 hertz that you are louder with the ported box that's pretty significant um now outside of that you're definitely louder from 30 hertz down all the way down i mean most people don't play below 20 or 15 so you're definitely louder that entire range and you you only have a little bit of range where you're louder up here so you get about uh you, you'd have basically the the 50s that you're louder with the band pass and then the 20s other than that between basically 30 and 50 you're louder with the the two ported subs so it kind of depends on what you want do you want a wide bandwidth and a very kind of even bandwidth. Um, you're not, you don't have the spikes and highs and lows. You can kind of play everything, uh, but it's not quite as good of sound quality. Or do you want something that's a little bit better in sound quality that's going to be louder within a, a, a more narrow range? So what's louder? Well, I would argue that the ported is louder, but you have a, a smaller range. And obviously I'm, I'm making that off of uh, the argument off of having two ported subs in the same size as a sixth order band pass. Anyways, I hope that was interesting. Um, basically you pick a band pass because you want bandwidth. You want a wide range of frequencies to play. Uh, you pick ported cause it's cheap and easy design. 
and it's uh, uh, it, it it does it does perform pretty good. Anyways, I'm I'll do some more videos on six orders because I'd like to talk about kind of a beginner's guide to designing six orders. And uh, but I'm I'm going to be going through that process of putting a six order together. So I'd like to uh, really kind of glean from that experience uh, before I and maybe you guys can we'll walk along it along the way so you guys can kind of learn as I learn. Anyways, I love you guys and. Uh, um, I'll catch you online another time. Cheers.